is a person with unlimited shaktis this principle of a person with shakti is the characteristic of vaishnava siddhanta in the mayavada philosophy impersonal philosophy there is category this shakti shakti man is not there there is only one nirguna brahman and everything else is illusion illusion suffered by that brahman not that there there is no, nothing exists here according to them but we say yes just like if there is a you, out of earth you can make a pot you can make a spoon you can make different shapes of you know clay things but when the clay is break it becomes back to the clay in the same way clay is a truth clay pots may not be is not truth in this material world the spiritual world clay is true clay pots also true here clay pots are or illusion they dissolve back but it is a the basic energy is true and the creation activity is how this form temporary forms itself how is it formed that is also true energies of the lord he empowers brahma brahma to create all these things irrigatedness how can brahma act without shakti today with, with some shakti only you can create you can deal with material energy so in spiritual life we have to understand that power is a reality there is a tendency for us to cloud this understanding because of generally mayava this tendency because our we are towards detachment 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 we are also another route we take for detachment we want to detach not because this power is illusion we want to detach because it, if it is in service of maya i don't want if it is in service of krishna then power is a reality is absolute this world is absolute illusion is in the mind of the living entities if you make a pot out of clay till the clay is broken and merges into the earth is a pot reality similarly this is a reality the entire existence of material world is happening in the kshana of mahavishnu creation time is protracted so that these living entities can take their journey it's un fathomable existence we are able to talk all these things only because in bhagavad gita god himself came and told this is what it is krishna himself came and told this is what it is who i am what i have created who are you who are the demigods what is birth what is death everything is today we are able to understand this otherwise we will also be speculating because god himself has spoken <clears throat> 